Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. First we have to open a new file pot. In this video we are going to draw the cylindrical component. First we have to select a plane which you want to sketch and make it to the normal view. Then we have to draw the symmetrical sketch for using a revolve feature. You have to draw the symmetrical view which is most necessary for your gas cylinder. After drawing a symmetrical sketch, you have to sp specify the fillet at the sharp edges. Then click OK. Make sure you have to give the fillet in all the sharp corners. Then you go to the revolve boss and click OK. Now the base part of the cylinder is created. Then we have to create a handle here. So go to the reference geometry and select a plane with corresponding to the selected face. Now the new plane is created by using a certain amount of offset distance. You have to select a top face of the cylinder to create a new plane. The plane is created. You have to specify the required amount of offset distance to be created. Then click OK. Then you have to enlarge the new plane and make it to the normal view and go to the sketch. Then you have to draw the circle here to create a handle of the cylinder. Then exit the sketch, go to the futures. Inside the future we have to select a swipe boss or base with corresponding to the circular profile option in your swipe boss then you have to specify the diameter of the circle inside the swipe boss option then click ok now the handle is very larger than the cylinder so you have to reduce the diameter of the circle which we create in a sketch so just go to the design tree and just edit the diameter of the sketch of circle you have to use a small dimension to change the diameter of circle then click ok and exit the sketch automatically it will be updated in your swipe boss now the required amount of handle is created Then you have to select a corresponding plane and make it to the normal view and go to the sketch. We have to create a intersecting ribs in between the handle and your cylinder body. So you need to draw the rectangular profile. Then click OK, exit the sketch. Go to the futures and select extrude boss or base with corresponding to the rectangle. extrude the rectangle up to the surface which we selected
go to the features and select extrude both of these and select your rectangular option and change the flip direction and change the direction option as a up to the next or up to the selected surface then click ok after that we have to use a circular pattern for create a required number of intersecting parts select a parameters and with corresponding to the cylindrical surface and you have to select a number of instances to be produced as a 3 and make sure you are using equal spacing in between them now you have to just select a outlet port of for the gas cylinder so you go to the sketch and draw the small intersecting circle then click ok and exit the sketch go to the extrude boss or base with corresponding to the circle then click ok now we are going to create a welded region in the cylinder you have to just select a mid plane in between the cylinder if you don't have a mid plane just you need to create it now i create a mid plane and go to the insert option and go to the futures you have to select a split option from the futures and with corresponding to the mid plane and then you have to select a resulting bodies in our component just unclick the consume cut bodies and click ok now our component is split into the two bodies in your design tree you have your options such as the solid bodies 1 and 2 it means it our component is split into the two parts you have to just hide the one part and create a shell in the another part go to the shell option and specify the amount of thickness to be created then click ok likewise you have to create a shell in the another part by hiding this part now the shell is created in one part likewise you have to make a shell in another part by hiding this component go to the shell option follow the same previous procedure now the shell is created in a top part we have to just show the both of the components then go to the weldment option to specify the weld order region in the gas cylinder go to the weldment and select a weld beard option and select a weld path with corresponding to the center edge of the cylinder to create a weld region likewise you have to create a weld in between the intersecting part of the cylindrical rib likewise you have to add the weld beard in all three intersecting parts follow the same procedure in the weld beard option select all the three intersecting edges to create a welded region select a weld beard option and with correspond to the weld path select a lost edge of the cylinder then click ok now we create all the welded region in the cylinder but the welded region cannot visualization in the software to enable the visualization of weld so just go to the view option inside the view option we need to select a hide and show option inside the hide and show option we have here weld beard 
you have to just enable the weld beard to display of a welded region now all the welded region is clearly displayed in the software you have another option to show the welded region or enable the welded region you can also utilize the view manager for visualization of welded region just select a mid plane and create a tangent plane option to engraving the text in the cylinder after creating a tangent plane you have to text in the plane i just text as a lpg liquefied petroleum gas with corresponding to user defined font size you have to adjust the height of the text then click okay then exit the sketch go to the futures and use a wrap option just select a wrap toolbar with corresponding to our sketch use a wrap parameter as a scribe option just look like a sticker then click ok now the text is engraved in the cylinder shape just hide the all planes for better visualization here also we are having a weld beard show option just you can add the different color for the cylinder as per your requirement Give the required amount of appearance color as per your requirement. Then click OK. Don't forget to subscribe in our channel to get the regular updates of tutorials. Inshallah, we will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching.